Welcome to our lecture online. Again, we're going to take a look at the diffusion equation, but try to solve it in a slightly different way. In the previous video, again, we started with the diffusion equation, some constant times the partial derivative or the partial second derivative of u with respect to x is equal to the partial first derivative of u with respect to t. And we had discovered that k must have dimensions of length squared over time in such a way that kt over x squared and x squared over kt are both dimensionless expressions. So what we're going to do now is we're going to make a similar substitution as before. We're going to let beta equals x squared over kt. In the previous video, we let alpha equals x squared over kt. And again, we have a function u of xt, which is equal to a function of beta. In the previous video, we had that as a function of alpha. And you may say, well, what's the difference? You're doing exactly the same thing. Well, not quite, because in the previous video, we let the right side of the equation equals a, which was a constant. We're not going to do that in this case. We're not going to let the right side be a constant. So then when we take the first derivative of u with respect to x, we have the very same thing as we did before. We have the derivative with respect to beta of the function of beta times the parcel of beta with respect to x, which gives us 2x over kt times this. The only difference between this in the previous video is that we have a beta here instead of an alpha. And then we take the second partial derivative of u with respect to x, and again we end up with 2x over kt quantity squared times the second derivative with respect to beta of the function of beta plus 2 over kt times the partial derivative of the function of beta with respect to beta. Again, exactly the same thing as before, except we have a beta here instead of an alpha. Where it's different is when we take the first derivative of u with respect to t and we don't assume that this is a constant. So what happens now is we take the derivative with respect to beta of the function of beta times the partial of beta with respect to time. And now we take the partial derivative of this with respect to time which gives us minus x squared over kt squared times the derivative with respect to beta of the function of beta. So we get a very different thing for this right here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to plug this into our equation over there and we're going to plug this into our equation over there. When we do that we have k times this which is equal to what we have over here equals this here which is equal to what we have over here. So now we have something very different but notice we have a d d beta the derivative with respect to beta of the function of beta on the left side and the derivative of the function of beta respect to beta on the right side. So we can combine those two terms. And here we have a second derivative of the function of beta with respect to beta. However, before we can combine this and simplify it, we're going to first simplify the case here and here and here. And we're going to multiply both sides by time. That will put it into a format where we can combine like terms. So when we do that, we have a k squared here times k. That becomes k to the first power. We have t squared, but if we're going to multiply times t, this comes t to the first power. This k will cancel out this k, and by multiplying by t, we get rid of this t right here, so we end up just with a 2. And over here, the k will, no, the k is still there, but if we multiply the right side by t, this becomes t to the first power, so we have minus x squared over kt. Now, take a look. Beta was equal to x squared over kt, so this quantity here can be replaced by beta. And this quantity here, we have an x squared over kt, that can be replaced by beta as well. So we end up with 4 beta here. We have 2 over here. Then we move this to the left side, that becomes a positive, and this whole thing here becomes beta instead of x squared over kt. Because these are the same here, so they're the same terms. We combine like terms. And then instead of writing the second derivative, of the function of beta with respect to beta, we'll simply write as f double prime and the first derivative as f prime. And now take a look at this. This now becomes an ordinary differential equation which we can solve uh, using the, the same principles that we use for solving ordinary differential equations. So we've turned a partial differential equation into an ordinary differential equation by making this substitution right here. So on the next video, we're actually going to show you the solution of that ordinary differential equation, which then will serve as a solution to the partial differential equation. Oh, the one that's over here. All right, that's how we do that. Those are the mathematical tricks we play. 
and stay tuned for one more video and we'll show you the solution of this. That's how it's done.